Hi, I'm Pete the Gadget Guy, and in this video I'm going to explain one of the most contentious issues relating to digital cameras, the megapixel myth. Many shop assistants will work on the principle that when it comes to megapixels, more is better. So according to them, a camera with more megapixels will take a better photo than one with less. But is this really true? While it's true that a camera's megapixel rating is an important indication of its abilities, megapixels alone don't tell the whole story. There are other important ingredients such as image sensor size, pixel size, and the quality of the lens. All these contribute to picture quality or resolution. To explain, let me first help you understand what a pixel is. Now, we're going to get a little technical here, but stay with me, it's really not that complex. A digital camera records a picture by converting the light coming through the lens into tiny electrical signals. It does this by using millions of tiny light-sensitive pixels, which are arranged in a special grid pattern. Each individual pixel acts like a miniature light meter that registers the intensity of light hitting it and converts this into the electrical signal we mentioned earlier. So the brighter the light, the greater the electrical signal used to record it. With millions of these tiny light meters combined onto a silicon chip, a scene can be captured and the camera then converts this to produce a photograph. The main thing to understand about sensors is really the size. A picture taken with the latest 8 or even 10 megapixel compact camera will never look as good as an entry-level DSLR. This is due to the huge difference in sensor size and therefore the individual pixel size used in both devices. The chart on the screen compares typical sensor sizes found in common digital cameras today. The sensor on a compact camera is approximately one-tenth of the size of a typical DSLR. And a full-frame DSLR has a sensor about 20 times bigger. This is also the main reason why a DSLR costs upwards of $1,000, while a compact with the same pixel count can cost as little as $200. Another fact to consider is how many megapixels a camera shoots relative to the size of its sensor. This is what pixel density is all about. Let me explain it this way. Consider the fixed sensor size of a typical compact camera. As the megapixel war between camera manufacturers escalates, the easiest solution is to cram in more and more megapixels without enlarging the sensor size because larger sensors are more expensive to make and larger sensors would make compact cameras larger. More megapixels on the same sensor size actually mean that the pixels need to be smaller as the example on the screen demonstrates. Generally, sensors with smaller pixels tend to be less efficient. The smaller pixels are less sensitive to light and exhibit more of what is known as digital noise. This is the graininess you see in a picture when shooting in low light conditions. As DSLR cameras have larger sensors than those found in compact cameras, this means that they contain larger pixels. Also keep in mind that along with more pixels and larger sensors, DSLRs give you more lens options, which is another important factor when it comes to taking fantastic photos. Now, a little help in understanding sensor format size, because there are at least three types you need to consider when it comes to a digital SLR. The first is called full frame. These are high performance sensors, which are the same size as 35 millimeter film, measuring 36 by 24 millimeters. These are found in higher end cameras, costing somewhere between $3,000 and $12,000. Next is APS-C. These sensors found in DSLRs are about the frame size of the old APS-C format film, which is around 15 by 22.5 millimeters for Canon and around 15.6 millimeters by 23.7 for Nikon and the other brands. And finally, there's a new format called four thirds. 
both Olympus and Panasonic have designed their DSLR systems around the four thirds format, which uses a 13.5 by 18 millimeter sensor. Not only is this four thirds sensor smaller than the others, it also has a different aspect ratio. It's three to four compared to the more traditional two to three ratio. So when it comes to the megapixel myth, as a general rule of thumb, while more pixels sounds better, it's really a case of size matters when it comes to the individual pixels and their sensor. And remember other factors such as lens choice, low noise levels, good contrast, dynamic range, color fidelity, and the quality of a camera's digital signal processing also have to be considered when assessing which camera to buy.